Let's jump in to this first story, literally right here that we have right up. People shout, let's go, Brandon, during Joe Biden's visit to Kentucky. And there's a picture of Joe, Bra- of, of Joe, Brandon. <laughs> Joe Brandon. I was going to say Joe Brandon. <laughs> <laughs> Joe <laughs> Brandon. <laughs> Sorry, his, we just it. made you mess up on all the names. Yeah, all I can't it's do like it. It's like once you've wreck. done one wrong, you're just going to read that. It's fine. Why are you Radowskiing so much, Tim? <laughs> yes. I don't know. What's going on? I hear. Maybe, uh, you know, maybe I just haven't had enough, you know, sugar, sugar or something. Yeah. I'm, I've got zero sugar today. Yeah. All right. President Joe Biden <laughs> was met with shouts of let's go Brandon and a Trump flag as he wow. arrived in Kentucky on Wednesday to survey damage from a tornado that killed at least 88 people. Uh, we know what let's go Brandon means. So they got videos and photos Two let's go Brandon's from the crowd as Biden gets out after arriving in the state. Biden tweeted, I'm in Kentucky to meet with local leaders in a survey the damage from the tornadoes and extreme weather. It will take all of us working together to recover and begin rebuilding. And we are committed to providing whatever support is needed for however long it takes. Earlier in the day, Biden spoke with Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir and was briefed on the damage while in Mayfield. Department of Homeland Security Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas was also present. Uh, and that's basically it. That's the gist of the story. But I think this is an important, uh, important story. Yeah, I feel like w- under the years of the former president, even like I, I go back to I'm a political nerd. So even back to like when Romney was running or McCain was running or when George W. Bush was in the White House, I remember living on 34th Street in New York City and half a million people were like burning his effigies. Right. And it was like a news story of look how mad they are at the Republican in office and and like protesters free speech. Yay. But it's also one sided. Like here's two dudes, which, you know, two dudes ain't that many. I feel like most of the people in Kentucky are probably legitimately mourning and worried about their homes and their neighbors and the businesses in the area and what are they going to do with the rest of their lives and their priority isn't to go out there and yell let's go brandon but kudos to the guys who did it and they have a right well, to do that and and so but you're not going to get coverage of this anywhere else because heaven forbid people who are against joe biden express their you know viewpoints i think they have a right to to say it i think it's important that people speak up especially in the face of joe biden i think that's what makes america great the fact that Joe Biden can come down and you can yell, let's go, Brandon, is what's, mm-hmm. what's awesome oh, about yeah. this country. For and sure. It, it, part of me is, though, like, man, I wish we could kind of just get, like, we have a major disaster here. 88 people died. Yeah. But Joe Biden is just, he's burning this country to the ground. And I'm not going to blame him for the natural disaster. But so many people are suffering in this country because of his failed leadership. For someone to get that opportunity to be like, I am going to criticize you over everything we're dealing well, with. Well, and if you look yeah, at you got to do it. Even NPR, I think I was listening to NPR earlier today, and they were talking about how this area was already hard hit by the economy, and mm. then you have a tornado that comes through and levels the entire town. So there is, and this guy's going to do a photo op, and he's and that. So I get the frustration of local people that are like, okay, now you're coming, now you're pretending to do something. Now you're going to send us funds. Well, yeah. like you, now you're pretending to care when we've lost our factory jobs and we've done all this stuff and like this quote unquote return to normal that you promised hasn't happened. Well, 